Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. Turn this fan up, it's hot in here. I don't know what is going on today, you guys. I got home last night, but I was saying this on an earlier video, I have like hair on me. Um, my skin is acting so weird. It's like breaking out all over my arms and stuff right now. And I don't know if it's I'm allergic to something out and about or what it is, but it's a nightmare. And then this morning I had to wake up and I went with my mother-in-law and we took Pippa to school and she was just looking at me with this cute, sweet little face. And she's like, dad, please don't leave me. And I was like, <laughs> I'll be back. So it's been quite the morning. Anyways, guys, we're back to, to talk about some OC. So welcome back. If you guys have not already, go ahead, get subscribed. If you haven't smashed that like button, do that too. And then, um, yeah, with that, I say let's jump right in with the Katie of it because then we're getting into the Vicky. Mm -hmm. You guys already know. So, thank you to Reality Blurb. Katie Janela was put on blast by an alleged ex-friend. Don't you love that when you have an ex, like an ex-friend who's like, oh, well, let me tell you what I know. Let me tell you about this. Let me tell, like, I'm like, oh, shut up. And it's always the people who come out, like when these people get on TV, it's those are the friends who are like, well, they were never really your friends. That's the point. Anyways, um, an alleged ex-friend after the airing of Thursday night's episode of the Real Housewives of Orange County reunion. Now, after being asked on their Instagram if they watched the show, which is currently airing Katie's debut season, the person shaded Katie for being full of drama, both on screen and off, as they also targeted, well... Katie's values. Have you watched OC with Katie on it? Are you guys still friends is what a person asked via Bravo and Cocktails on Instagram. And she said, yes, I just finished watching the season. I had such a bad stomach ache watching the first episode or two. And it felt so weird to see her finally on TV because I was so, you know, like close friends with her during her entire casting process. And as she was doing all of the interviews and prepping to go on the show, but she really, really burnt me and she hurt me. So yes, it's been hard to watch, but also the show is perfect for her. Now, according to the unnamed person, OC is perfect for Katie because it's full of drama, just like her. This is, here's, let me just show you the, this is it. Mm -hmm. It's full of drama and this is how our real life friendship felt. I do wish her well and I want success for her, but I just don't align with her values and how she treats people, which is why I cut the cord on our friendship. But it was during Thursday's first installment of the OC reunion where Katie came under fire from a number of her castmates, including Heather Debro, who said falsely accusing people is her thing, and Gina Kirschenheider, who called her out for lying about owning her home. She was also forced to explain why she lost custody of her kids for a year and a half after being confronted about this issue by Emily Simpson. I was living in, I can't say the name, in a facility in Atlanta. My parents, who lived 20 minutes from me, wouldn't help me because they wouldn't agree that I was divorcing my ex-husband. So he was immediately awarded the kids because I could not provide a place for them to live. And at the time, I thought, you know what, that's okay. I was trying to get my life together to figure out how I could get them back. And it was a horrible, horrible time. Um, first of all, Somebody trying to figure out how to get their kids and stuff. I don't think that that's a fair like, oh, let's sit there and rip this woman apart for prioritizing her mental health and who like the shit that she has to go through in order to be the best version of what she knows as a mother to her children. Like, why are we beating up on somebody for that? Don't you guys know, like, I love analogies, but it's like when you're on an airplane and they tell you to put on your mask first before you put on the mask like to for somebody else. It's like you have to sort of be in the best space where you can also be the best for the people around you and in your life. And if she wasn't in the best space and she didn't want them living in this facility and she didn't want them to see or be a part of that, then that's okay. It is her decision as a mother. But moving on. During an episode of Jeff Lewis Live, thank you to tasteofreality.com, the former flipping out star asked Vicki Gumbelson her opinion of the current state of the Real Housewives of Orange County. Specifically, who are you getting rid of? She said, I would definitely get rid of Tamara. Enough is enough with this throwing napkins and 
FBI hats and going into people's junk. I think enough is enough. She knows I felt that way. It's not because I'm not on OC and she is. Everybody I talk to says it's too much with her and she's always in people's stuff, but she doesn't want anyone in her stuff. So I like everyone on the show. I don't want to call names out, but I think a change needs to happen, which is what they did with Katie and Jen and casting did good with that. And I don't know why Heather DeBro's doing it. People in this lifespan that we're in, we do it for the money and for the fame and for notoriety and such. And she has all of that. So I don't I don't understand it. I love Heather. I think she's great. And I love Dr. DeBro, but I don't understand why she's doing it. Hmm. Now, Vicky also said, I will get rid of Heather. If she wants to Beverly Hills, good. But Heather appearing on OC just doesn't make sense to me anymore. I would absolutely get rid of Alexis. She's toxic, and I think she's a nightmare. And I love Jen. She and I are close. And I like Gina and Emily. I think that they're good. And I don't know where the producers are. When is enough enough of a person? If it's 10 seasons or 12 seasons, I don't know. But I used to sit down with Kathleen French from Evolution and say, what do you have coming up this season? Like, what's going on? What did they say? I'm going to fight with Tamra. There's no substance. There's no core. I want to be inspired when I watch the show. I don't want to come out of it so icky. Hmm. She also said, it's too much. I'm also not a conflict person. I will defend myself when I have to, but I just don't like it. It makes me sick to my stomach to have the conflict. Well, one... That's a problem for housewives. And two, I think she, Vicky just got way too expensive. There was no bringing Vicky back. But hold on. Let's roll the tape. Adding someone, are you taking away anyone? I love Jen. I think Jen was a great yeah. cast um, mm -hmm. picking. Her and I are close. Um, I, you know, I don't know where the producers are at with when is enough enough of a person. So if it's 10 seasons or 12 seasons, I don't know. Um, I like Gina and Emily. I think they're good. But I used to sit down with Kathleen French from Evolution. And say, yeah. What do you got coming up this next year? Well, what do they say? I'm going to fight with Tamara or I'm going to. There, there's no substance. There's no core of what I want to be inspired when I watch want to watch a show. I don't want. It's, I don't want the to come out of it so icky. I, I just think it's too much. But I'm also not a conflict person. I will defend myself when I have to. I just don't like it. It makes me sick to my stomach to have conflict. I think there needs to be more of a balance between like the fun mm -hmm. and the, the girls be connected and, mm -hmm. you know. It's it, so divided. It, yeah. It's just been so much conflict that's yeah. starting to become Jersey mm -hmm. all over. It it's, and it's like, I think if, if these girls can't make amends, I yeah. think you got to start over right. you it's tired. because it's, it's getting, tiresome it's getting, watch. it is. Yeah. And it's like, Oh God, another fight, another reason, another throwing napkin, another, you know, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I've never been proud of that. Have you been spending time with Katie Janella? No, I haven't. I like her. Do you have I like her and Jennifer. I think they're both mm -hmm. really great new additions. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I like Emily and I do like Emily and G I think Gina's good as well. well Emily came to the last uh, yeah. our Ontario Dos Amigas show and she came up on the stage and yeah. she was great. Yeah. You know, and I had just met her on your show. So it was uh, so specifically who are you keeping and who or who are you Ooh. getting rid of? Well, I would definitely get rid of Tamara. I think enough is enough with this throwing napkins and FBI hats and going to people's junk. I just think it's enough is enough. Um, and she knows I've felt that way. It's not because I'm not on and she is. I just think enough is enough. And everybody I talk to say it's too much with her. She's always in people's stuff, but she doesn't want anybody in her stuff. So um, I, I, I like everybody on the show. I don't want to call names up because then they're going to call me and text me. It's all right. Okay. I, I see. Uh, but I think a change needs to happen, which is what they did with uh, Katie and Jen. I think they did good. The casting did good with. I agree with that. I think we get the gist. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't agree with all of it. I think that Tamara is great on the show. I think that Tamara can be messy, but I think that she's great on the show. And Tamara's obviously going to respond to this. That's the thing. Tamara's going to respond to this. She's going to be like, bitch. And it's going to be, just watch. Game on, Vicky. I like Vicky too. Guys, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.